We're on top of the vehicle assembly building at Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It's hotter than you know what up here, so bear with the sweat. Uh, Glenn asked me to give you a little verbal tour here. If you look off to the to the right here, this is launch uh, pad 39A. There's a space shuttle sitting on top of it. I don't know if he can zoom in or not, but you can just see the, the cone of the external tank sticking up. It's the second tallest thing there next to the launch tower. If you pan up to the left a little bit, that's 39B uh, or A or whatever the other one <laughs> is. There's so many out here. Uh, it's inactive right now, but that's where the next shuttle will be launching from if they're not going to refurbish the pad. Uh, down below us here, the tall buildings you see, those are uh, solid rocket booster processing facilities. That's where they bring the boosters in, they put the parachutes in, they make sure all the hypergolic fuels are packed in, ready to go. And down on the ground are, just a little PR from my company, are the doors that we're refurbishing. You can see one's ready to put up, the second one's about midway, the third one and the fourth one are just skeletal right now. Okay. Look beyond the lagoon and you see the uh, Apollo Museum. Oh, right That's there. where the visitors come. This is the north exit out of uh, Kennedy Space Center and off to the left of that you can see the orbital landing runway. That's where the orbital comes in after it's been in space and it lands at KSC. It comes in right here or if it comes back from California it comes on the back of a 747 and the complex you see on this end of the runway is where they unstack it, there's cranes, etc. that they get it, the orbiter off the 747. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome.